Thanks, Mitch. <laughs> hey, everybody. Quick video today on a little add-on product for Porsches. In this case, my little green Porsche Macan. I bought uh, this box, which is known as the Macan Convenience Module. What does it do? Uh, well, it's a little thing that splices into the wiring in the back of the car. It allows you to close the trunk from your key fob or close your trunk from the button inside the car. Um, it also allows you to close the trunk while the car's moving. Uh, I think that's for like if someone throws a bag in there and then jumps in the car, they can close the trunk. Uh, also opening and closing of all the windows from the key fob. So like if you get to your car on a hot summer day, you can hold down the button and all the windows go down and the sunroof opens. And the same, you can close if when you're locking your car, it'll close all the windows and sunroof for you. Uh, and a few other little things like the folding of the mirrors and turning down the volume of the stereo, etc, etc. Uh, interestingly, these features were all pretty much standard on an Audi I had like 20 years ago. So catch up, Porsche. Anyway, so yeah, this, this, this product, I'm, this is not a sponsored video. I just, I just wanted to have a look at this product out of interest that I do not get any commission from these being sold. So buy it, don't buy it, I don't care. Uh, they cost, I think they cost around $450 at the moment which when I looked at it, I thought, wow, that's kind of expensive. But then I thought, you know, <laughs> every single option I buy on a Porsche or we buy on a Porsche is 500 to thousand dollars and most of them do nothing. Whereas this $450 option adds, I don't know, five, six, seven things. And if it was a Porsche option, I think we'd all get it. We'd go, wow, seven things for $500. That's amazing value. So I guess it's all how you look at it. So the only issue with this, of course, is you have to install it yourself. And for some people, it might be a little tricky. Uh, I, I had no trouble. It took me about 15, 20 minutes to get it installed. Um, yeah, you, you have to crack open the back of the car and find the wiring loom and stick it in there. It's no big deal. I'll take you through the steps to show you how I got on. Yeah, it's really not that tricky. I'll take you through it and then I'll show you, we'll demonstrate the bits and pieces that are, are new to my green Macan. Anyway, onwards. Okay, so all the action for this install happens here in the trunk, the boot. First thing we do is we find the hole to get this cover off. It's up here somewhere, yep. And that gives us access to the fuse box. We're gonna take one of the fuses out just so that we don't wreck anything. I think it's the boot control fuse. It's this one here. That baby comes out. And that also resets all the uh, settings in your car when you put everything back together. And next you use like a little plastic tool to get this cover off on both sides. Gives you access to the screws that hold um, the trim together and I think the screws are what's known as a T20 so put a T20 it's a little star thing on your screwdriver and you pull those out uh, to each side Zzz. good work there Nick holding a camera and, and drilling at the same time get those guys out as well look at me go and then there's a couple here underneath where the safety triangle if you're a European car there's a safety triangle there but if you're a US car, there's nout. A couple of screws there. Once again, screwing and holding a camera. And then it's yanking this trim. Yeah, you got to give it a good hard yank. Uh, such strength. Look at that guy. God, he's a strong guy. Yeah, and then you can see up in here where all the guts, all the electronics are. And that's where we're going to tinker today. So it's this box here. We're going to take both the power unit to give it power. This power supply comes off here and that's the uh, logic, um, uh, what's it called? Um, yeah, that thing. <laughs> anyway, with one hand I splice in the power to give the unit some power and then put the other one back in here. Turn it around, turn it around, there we go. And now the unit's got power. And now this one here, which is very tricky with one hand, it splices onto this one here. So we'll put this one in first. This is sending the logic back again. There we go. Once again, one-handed. <laughs> Such skill. Such skill. <coughs> Clunk. It's on. There we go. Okay, that's on. Now the other end here goes on the other end, the other yellow end. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, yeah, that one and that one and that one goes on there. Here we go. Ready? One, two, yes, yes, we see that. Okay, holding it with my shoulder. So I've got two hands, pushing it together, and there we go. So now the logic unit's connected and the power's connected. So we're only left with one wire 
dangling out and that's what the little uh, logic unit here goes, goes on there push that on there come on Nick you fool get on there that's it oh look at that look at that and that's it that's what does the that's the brains the convenience module and on the back there's some uh, sticky tape velcro sticky tape so you can peel that off and then hide it somewhere up there out of the way so it's not flailing around and making knocking noises and then it's just simply a matter of making sure everything's tidied away and pushing the car back together look at this look at this guy go Zzz, zzz, yes put that back in find those four screws put those in look at that holding the camera at the same time god he's a talented man this guy isn't he there we go put that all back together and put that back on and put that back in and put that fuse back in and put that fuse box cover back on and we're done and here we are let's test it opening closing there we go closing the trunk with the button that didn't used to happen now i can open and close the trunk with the keys and now if i hold down the open all the windows wind down and it cracks the sunroof as well ah pretty cool i actually use that feature hey tui that's where you're hanging out in there Alrighty, uh, next we're going to test everything closing, so we're going to open the sunroof fully and then hold the close or lock button and holding the lock button, look at that, sunroof closes, windows closes, uh, it works, works just like I brought one, haha, <laughs> beautiful. So that's that, oh yes and the silly mirrors fold, I hate the silly mirrors folding, I've got to get them to change that so they don't fold and I don't like the way the car looks when the mirrors are folded, so yeah, we'll turn that feature off. So yes, that's the McCann convenience pack. I think they actually sell them for other models as well. Is it worth $450? For some people, yes, it will be. Other people, oh no, we don't need any of those features. I like the, um, the windows down thing. I've, I've only had it in my car for a couple of days. And yeah, when I get back from walking my dogs, I, as I'm walking up to the car, I put all the windows and sunroof down and vents the car. I do like that feature, it's pretty cool. So yes, I hope this has been useful for you guys. And a reminder that it's car washing season, so if you want a rapid dry towel, get one now. I've been washing my Macan with rapid dry towel. It's in my shop. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I will see you in the next video. Bye then. And if you're wondering where to acquire the ridiculous t-shirts that I wear in my videos, they're all here in my store, all your favorites, uh, including offensive stamps and my rapid dry towels as well. Yes, Nick Murray t-shirts, being a little inappropriate since 2016.